KMFM, the hit list GCSE surgery with the EKC Group. Jason Derulo, take you dancing on KMFM. You're listening to Kent's radio station. Emma Jo with you and a massive congratulations if you picked up your GCSE results today. I hope they went well for you. And if they didn't, do not worry because we have got two wicked experts in the studio to answer any questions you might have about your results and your next steps as well. We've got Seb, who is a marketing officer at Ashford College and Sophia, who is careers and employment advisor at Broadstairs College. Hello, Seven Sophia. Hi. Hi. Now, if you are listening and you have got any questions at all, send them in to us. Text 60099. Start your message with the word KMFM. Just send us over your questions. We'll answer as many as possible tonight. 6 0099 is the text number. Start your message with the word KMFM. Now, GCSE students in England, Wales and Northern Ireland have been getting record-breaking marks, so huge congratulations if you absolutely smashed it today. 29% achieved one of the top three grades and the number of passes has risen as well. Amazing news. And girls have, once again, done better than boys. Why is that, I wonder? Why is that? Now, Seb, I wanted to ask you, actually, depending on your results, there are quite a few different options for further education aren't there yeah there's there's a fair few so um, there's four main ones really uh, there's a levels which is sort of a more academic route of study uh, vocational courses um, that you can study at college um, so these can range from beauty engineering business and accounting there's there's quite a wide range there uh, they offer a more hands-on approach and um, you've got apprenticeships which is sort of in a place of work uh, while, you, while you study on the side and then there's brand new t levels as well so it must be definitely worth looking all of these up to make sure that you're doing the right course for you. 100%, yeah. Your research is really important um, before you commit to study. So definitely sort of get out there. Amazing. And could you give us a few little examples of, say, the vocational diplomas that you can study? Yeah, so I say like, they range from beauty engineering and business and accounting as well. Um, so anything in between, if you can think of it in a job, there's probably a vocational course for it. Emma Jo with you on KMFM and we're talking all about your GCSE results. Now, I bet you smashed it today. But if you didn't, that is absolutely fine too because we have got experts in the studio from Ashford and Broadstairs Colleges. They're going to be answering your questions this evening until 9pm. Now, last night on the hit list, we were, of course, anticipating the GCSE results and we had this question in from Wendy in Sittingbourne. Hello Emma Jo, it's Wendy from Sittingbourne. My daughter is really worried tonight about her grades for English as she wants to stay on at sixth form because she really wants to be a teacher. If it doesn't go well for her, um, could you tell me is it possible she could retake these at college? Um, so she can still work towards her aim of being a teacher. Thank you very much. Now, Sophia, there is obviously no doubt at all that it has been a very, very strange couple of years for students, as, of course, the grades have actually been teacher awarded. Now, this might be the case for a couple of people today. Perhaps they haven't got the grades they needed to do a certain course. So can Wendy's daughter retake at college while working towards her aim of becoming a teacher? Yeah, she absolutely can. That is something that we offer at all of our colleges. So with um, looking at your maths and English GCSE results, we have no problem with you retaking your results whilst you study your chosen course. So your daughter, Wendy, could absolutely carry on studying her English or maths if she needed to retake, whilst she's also focusing on her end goal of becoming a, a school teacher. So Wendy's daughter has got all of her options still available. Nothing to worry about this stage. Absolutely. KMFM. The hit list GCSE surgery with the EKC group. It's Emma Jo with you on GCSE Results Day and we are helping you figure out your next steps after picking up your results earlier today. I'm joined in the studio with two experts, Seb, who is the marketing officer at Ashford College and Sophia, who is careers and employment advisor at Broadstairs College. Now, Sophia, some people listening will have done better with their results and some people will have not quite got the grades they hoped for. What advice would you give to students listening in both situations? Well, for those of you who didn't quite get the grades that you'd hoped for, the really important thing is not to dwell on it. Look forward to the options that are open to you now and explore all the routes that suit you best. There's always more options than you realise. 
Amazing. So I'm guessing some students will already have places to study on certain courses, but can they change their mind? Like, is it all completely finalised now or could they change courses now? They can change courses now. We're in a situation where you can apply uh, the applications to slow open. So um, make those applications if you feel like you've changed your mind and weigh up your options. You don't have to go with the, the you know, the first one you've accepted. Seb, we've had a text in from Michael in Faversham. How do college days actually look compared to sixth form, like the start and finish times, as I want to try and do a part-time job and actually earn some money now alongside a course? Uh, hi, Michael. That's a really great question. Um, so start times can vary between sort of 8.30 as you, as you get uh, in year 11 at the moment to, all the way through to 1pm, depending on timetable, and you can have sort of full days or half days. Um, the full-time courses are around two and a half to three days a week. So, yeah, potentially time to squeeze in some, some extra work there and start making some money. Um, you'll have the opportunity to sort of take part in enrichment and student experience trips um, and sort of utilise your break times. I suppose at college you're treated like more of an adult um, sort of everyone sort of calls each other by their first names um, you can go off site breaking lunches um, in normal times and you're surrounded by like minded people so as well can you work alongside college like you can actually do a part time job yeah yeah it's, de it's definitely sort of possible to, to maintain that sort of do short shifts in the weekdays and then work weekends too incredible and can you tell us more about this Sophia because I know this is sort of part of your remit yeah, I run the job shop just specifically for Broadstairs College um, and I get lots of employers contact me with their vacancies if they're looking to do a large recruitment and um, they'll let me know what they're looking for and I can advertise that to students and that really helps because all the employers that come to me agree that they're not going to offer work during college times so it really helps students to keep a balance. That is so wonderful. I'm envisaging this like shop full of jobs and you just go and pick one off the shelf and you're like oh I think today I'll be a teacher. Is that how it works? <laughs> Kind of like that. <laughs> it depends on what jobs I get in, but I definitely get a, quite a, a wide range of opportunities come through. And then the more I get to know students, the more I can cherry pick students for specific jobs that I think would suit them. KMFM, the hit list GCSE surgery with the EKC group. GCSE, results day. How did you get on? Did you do okay? Maybe you were a little bit disappointed. Well, do not worry. We've got two experts in the studio with us. They are answering any questions you might have about your next steps. 60099 is our text number. Start your message with the word KMFM. 60099. Even if you just want to shout about your results, you absolutely smashed it and you're really proud of yourself. 60099 and start your message with the word KMFM. We've actually had a load of tweets in that have cracked me up today. Katie and Maidstone at KMFM official saying, is it too late to revise? Like Katie, probably just, just a little bit too late now. And Reese in Gillingham has texted in saying, this morning was the longest morning of my life, but I did it. I got the grades I wanted and I'm off to sixth form in September. Oh my gosh, Reese, massive congratulations. Sounds like you worked super hard and absolutely smashed it. But of course, do not worry if it didn't go your way. A load of people that we love and respect that didn't get the results they wanted. Ollie Mers did a little tweet. Wow, it's GCSE results today. Don't be scared. Don't be worried. These results will not define you as a person or predict your future. To make you feel better, check mine out if you believe you can achieve. Oh, isn't that so lovely? Love, Ollie Murs. And, of course, that age-old tweet from Jeremy Clarkson that always comes out on GCSE Results Day. If your GCSE results are disappointing, don't worry. I got a C and two U's, and I'm currently on a super yacht in the Med. Of course he is, Jeremy Clarkson. He loves to provoke us and make us jealous, doesn't he? The EKC Group. It is GCSE Results Day. Congratulations. If you picked up your GCSE results today, we've got Sophia from Broadstairs College in the studio and Seb from Ashford College. They are going to be answering any questions you might have about your GCSE results, about what next steps to take. Right now, we've got Nicole in Lyd on the phone. Nicole, how are you? Oh, hello. Yes, thank you. You? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. I understand you have a question for our experts in the studio today about your son's GCSE results. I do, yes. Go for it. Um, well, hello everybody. Um, my son received a level four, uh, four in English literature and got a three in English language. Does he have to reset the English language? He wants to do the plumbing pathway at Ashford College. 
Yeah, he, unfortunately, if you do, even if you pass your English GCSE in literature, if you haven't achieved a grade four or above in language, you do have to yeah. re reset your language exams. However, you know, it's not as bad as it seems. He could absolutely do a reset, a quick reset, so a fast track in November, or he um, could do that again come May, June time. Oh, OK. And he could do that alongside his plumbing course at Ashford College absolutely so he would do it you know at the same time as his uh, plumbing course so he'd come in for his plumbing lessons and then he'd come in for his extra um, English lessons alongside okay excellent Excellent. And with that, um, does he then have to go into the level one plumbing course or can he go to the level two? It really just depends on the other GCSE results that he's achieved. So it goes on the amount of GCSEs at a C grade or above that he's got. Um, that's definitely something oh, you can okay. have a chat with at Ashford College um, about. But I think Perfect. depending on his GCSE grades, it certainly could be a level two that he goes into. Okay, thank you so much. That's really helpful. That's thank all you. right. Did that answer your question, thank Nicole? You. Yeah, it did, yeah. Thank you so much. Lovely. Brilliant. Thank you. No worries, and congratulations you. to your son for his fab GCSE results, OK? Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. It's the Hit List Surgery tonight, and we are talking about your GCSE results and what to do with them. Maybe you want to go to college. Maybe you want to go to sixth form. Maybe you've got a big goal of wanting to go to uni, or maybe you just haven't got a clue what you want to do, and that is completely fine. Here to help, Seb and Sophia from Ashford College and from Broadstairs College who are answering your questions tonight. Now, Seb, we've had an email in from Joe in Maidstone who asks, I really want to go to uni but I'm not sure whether to go to sixth form or college as both places I'm looking at offer the course I want to do. Which one would be better for me to progress to uni? That's also a great question. Um, I think if you're up in the air about either or and both pathways are going to take you to the same result, it comes down to sort of how you learn best. If you're quite a visual vocational learner, uh, then maybe college would be for you. Uh, whereas if you're more academic and you prefer sort of exams and that's, that's how you succeed, then, then sixth form could be the one. So really, it's just kind of about your learning style, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And I'd say we've had some brilliant examples of people that have come to college to do vocational learning. Uh, Matilda, one of our engineering students, is progressing on to Brunel University to do aerospace engineering, which is so cool. Um, and we've had others go to sort of places like Bristol and Portsmouth too. So I say either either pathway will get you there. That's incredible. So that misconception that if you go to college, you can't go to uni afterwards, it's just not true at all. Absolutely not. As long as you put the work in and get the grades you need, then yeah, you're sorted. So Sophia, if you know you want to go to uni and college, both of them definitely, is it worth coming to talk to you, Sophia, about what your options are? Absolutely. It, definitely come and speak to us for a career session and that career session is there to plan your journey through college into university. We're there every step of the way through the UCAS process, through to student finance. You, you're absolutely not on your own. So there you go. If you're listening right now and you thought you couldn't go to college and then go to uni, you absolutely can. It is possible and it is worth getting in touch with you, Sophia, isn't it? To just talk about those options like you just mentioned. Definitely. KMFM, the hit list GCSE surgery with the EKC group. Huge congrats to you if you picked up your GCSE results today. I bet you absolutely smashed it. But if you didn't, do not worry. Two experts with me in the studio from Ashford and Broadstairs Colleges answering all of your questions about your next steps, what you maybe want to do. I've got Seb here, um, who is from Ashford College. Now, Seb, we've got a question in from a mum in Broadstairs. She says, my son has applied for college and looks like that is where he wants to go, but I am worried he might only be choosing to do that because his best friends are going. He wouldn't thank me for saying this, but he isn't very proactive and I worry that he needs to be to succeed in college. Is there support for students who might be a little shocked by this? Um, now, obviously, there are kind of two parts this question really the first one is should you go to college because your friends are going Seb in short no I mean obviously it's great to be around your mates I get that um, but you've got to sort of take it back to you're the one that's got to sort of take this qualification further and it'll be your future so if the course isn't right for you um, don't go because your mates are going really you've got to think like you just said about the course the reason you're going to college has got to be about the course that has got to be your first priority hasn't it absolutely yes and secondly the second part of the mum in Broadstairs' question is is there support for students that maybe aren't as proactive learners 
Yeah, um, so we've got um, sort of a team of progression mentors and they're there to sort of help you through your course um, with any external stuff that isn't specifically course related. So that could be where you end up after college or sort of additional help getting you through. Um, college is a brilliant opportunity to learn independently and sort of find your own way in what will be your sort of working industry. Um, so yeah, there are people there to support you, um, but you do you do need to sort of motivate yourself in areas as well. I guess it must be like a great opportunity to kind of go from an environment where maybe your teachers may be like helping you out a little bit more to actually being a bit more independent and sort of the onus really is on you. Absolutely, yeah. This is sort of a transition between being not spoon fed at school, but sort of helped uh, more. And this is almost sort of an intermediate stage of flying the nest Definitely. and braving the world of work. Yeah, and obviously a minute ago we were just talking about uni as well, and like people listening possibly might want to consider going to university after going to college. And I guess college is really, really great in preparing you for uni and independent learning. I say you've got sort of of a full time course. You've got another two days a week. You could sort of be getting industry experience there. You could be working. Um, you could be earning a bit of money ready for uni. It just sort of teaches you how to be self-motivated and manage your own time. If you have got any questions for Seb or Sophia, do text them into us. 60099 is our text number. Start your message with the word KMFM. 60099. We will answer as many questions as possible this evening. A really useful sort of task that we do is mock interviews with sort of real employers. So we've worked with people like Metro Bank and uh, MacArthur Glen, who run the outlet in Ashford. Um, So they'll come in or recently they've been virtual um, and they'll ask sort of students questions they'd actually ask when they were recruiting. So this sort of gives them real life experience and they never have to attend a first job interview because they've already had the practice before. Do you know what? That is absolutely incredible because I remember very distinctly finishing college and uni and then going straight into the workplace and being like, I don't know what to say. I haven't got a clue what to do in an interview. So the fact that you're getting actual experience with actual employers and asking you real life questions that they would ask in interviews must be just invaluable for students. We hope so, yeah. It's a good way to bridge the gap. Definitely. Now, Sophia, we have had a question come in from Kyle in Gravesend. Hi, Emma Joe. It's Kyle here from Gravesend. I'm in sixth form now, just finished my first year, and I'm happy, but I don't feel like I'm pushing myself enough because I'm not really that bothered about the subjects. If I was to join a college in September, can I use AS levels to get a good head start? Yes, you definitely can. With A-levels, you're choosing three subjects that you may not be fully invested in all of them. So if you decided that you'd like to specialise in a a specific subject that you're really interested in, then you can do that at college. Take what you've learnt in your first year at A-level, in your chosen subject, and use it as that head start at college. So it's not like Carl will have kind of like wasted his time or anything studying for that, because then he'll be, he'll have that experience, he'll have that knowledge, and he'll be using it to further himself at college. Definitely, almost an advantage, because you can't kind of got that academic head start um, but you're going into uh, you know a level three in a specialized subject so you can definitely use it to your advantage thursday evening on the hit list i bet you are sat on the sofa just sighing a big sigh of relief because you have picked up your gcse results that long way of waiting for them is over whether you did well or maybe you're a little bit disappointed do not worry because i am joined in the studio with sophia and seb from ashford college and from broadstairs college to answer all your questions about your next steps. Now, Sophia, am I right in thinking you actually went to Broadstairs College yourself? So what was the whole college experience like for you? Yeah, I did. When I left school, um, I decided not to go on and do my A-levels. I decided that I was a bit more of a a vocational learner. I learned by doing. So I decided I wanted to study childcare at Broadstairs College. I loved every second of it. I went straight in and did my level three childcare and education. And it set me up for a really good career in nursery work. So I worked with the younger ages. Um, And it was just a really great experience. You're studying and learning with people who love the same subject as you. And that's what's so different, I think, from school. I know that a lot of people are obviously worried about the whole making friends thing. You know, if they're in a school where they've got quite a tight-knit group of friends, then suddenly going to a college where they don't know anyone can be a little bit daunting. How did you find that process? To be honest with you, I found it easier because... I went from school where you're learning with lots of different types of people, learning about all different types of subjects, and then you go to start learning about a subject that you love and everybody around you loves the same subject too. So you instantly have a connection, you instantly have a common ground. And so it's almost impossible not to make friends. I guess if you're doing one course as well, you're with the same people every day. So it must be kind of like a lovely little family all doing the same course. It definitely does. And you're doing it all at the same time, um, even though you might all be at different stages in your 
you're learning, you're all still ultimately learning the exact same content and subjects. You've always got some sort of common ground and something to talk about. And Seb, what about you? Did you go to college or can you tell us about your journey? Um, so post GCSE, um, I, I didn't go to college. I went I went to sixth form. I did quite well in GCSEs um, and thought I'm ready for a change of scenery and went to a grammar school, whereas previously I was at a comprehensive. And um, it, long story short, didn't didn't go to plan. Um, I just don't think it was my style of learning and the jump was probably a bit too much all in one go. Um, but off the back of uh, A-levels, I went and did a higher apprenticeship, um, which is sort of equivalent of foundation degree level um, in PR and corporate communication. Um, and I was placed at EKC Group, working across the colleges in East Kent. Um, and it was brilliant. I loved it. I got a job off the back of it. And I'm part of um, Ashford College now, which is the group's newest college, um, doing the marketing. Just brilliant. I mean, that's worked out so flawlessly for you to do an apprenticeship in like PR and communications and marketing. And now you are the marketing officer. Yeah, it's sort of, <laughs> do you know how cats fall on their feet? That's what Carl felt. <laughs> Amazing. I love that about you, Seb. KMFM, the hit list GCSE surgery with the EKC group. GCSE results today. Do you know what? I bet you are so glad that this day has finally arrived after that long way over summer to pick them up in that envelope. I am joined with Sophia and Seb from Ashford College and Broadstairs College. We're chatting all about your options and what comes next after picking up those results. Sophia, I realise that obviously because of coronavirus, students have been teacher graded and there might be a few people listening who didn't quite get the grades that they wanted. Is there a way to appeal the grades? Yeah, there is a way to appeal the grades. If you feel that your grades aren't quite right or you definitely know that you want to appeal uh, the decision, then the best thing for you to do is to contact either the careers advisor or the exam admin support team at your school or your college and just ask them for their specific process that they need to follow. They're going to be there to support you throughout the appeal. And Seb, what would you say, in your opinion, is the best thing about college? I would probably say um, the fact that you're treated like an adult and with respect. Everyone's sort of working towards the same end goal of progression, whether that's apprenticeships, university, employment, or anything else that you might have in mind. Um, you're sort of surrounded by like-minded people, all looking to sort of get that real college experience, looking to sort of meet each other and, and just develop really develop themselves and i guess there are so many opportunities at college aren't there in terms of like not only just the course you're studying but also the kind of extracurricular stuff that's going on as well yeah um i mean at ashford there's sort of it's a town center campus we're sort of we're close to the bowling alley stuff like that so regular trips um theme parks are always popular um so there's loads of opportunity to go out and uh, let your hair down so much going on and i guess that must be a really really great way to make friends as well yeah, it, college is a brilliant place to meet new people and sort of like-minded people as well. And Sophia, if you want to find out more about, say, what your options are, apprenticeships and college, what do you suggest people listening do? Oh, I'd just say look at all your options, weigh them up, pros and cons. Um, I mean, specifically for Broad says College, um, an in-person open day is being held in November. Um, but check the individual colleges for all of their open days, I'd say. Um, we do have a virtual open day that's live right now. Um, you can head over to the website, register your details and it, they'll email you a link to the online open day. It's going to tell you everything that you need to know about specific courses. Um, the online open day, I'd say, is a really good opportunity to watch course videos, take the three tours, um, look at the campus really um, and find out more about how to make an application. And can you remind us of the website again? Yep, so for, for us you'd go to ekcgroup.ac.uk and then you'd choose Broadstairs and again the same with all the other colleges. And if for example someone has got more of a specific question, can they get in touch with you personally? Yes, they can. Uh, if you need help with something a bit more specific, you know, regarding your grades or, or options that are open to you, A-levels, apprenticeships, traineeships, all of, you know, those kinds of different ones, contact me directly on careers at East Kent. Um, college.ac.uk So that's careers at eastkentcollege.ac.uk